Sarah Palin continues to be one of the most polarizing politicians in the country. And that's saying something considering how divided the political world is these days. It's been two events that have prompted a renewed focus on the 2008 Republican vice presidential nominee. Most recently, Palin attacked the portrayal of a character with Down syndrome on the Fox animated comedy series Family Guy. And my mom is the former governor of Alaska. In a Facebook posting, Palin called it another kick in the gut. Palin's youngest son, Trigg, has Down syndrome. Palin's stand on this subject is a reminder of an admirable part of her background, that she went ahead and gave birth to Trigg, even though she knew in advance that the baby would have Down syndrome. Palin lived up to her moral stand against abortion. And even though she's now a paid commentator for Fox News, in the case of Family Guy, she took on the entertainment side of Rupert Murdoch's Fox empire. Mm, this world is full of cruel, cold-hearted people who would do such a thing. The other Palin event was her recent appearance at the Tea Party Convention of Conservatives and Populists in Nashville. Palin got strong approval from the crowd with her anti-Obama speech, but what caused the fuss was when Palin was captured on TV, referring to notes she had scrawled on her hand to help her get through a question and answer session. The words were not hard to remember, such as, quote, lift American spirits, end quote. And her critics jumped on it, arguing that Palin is an intellectual lightweight who isn't ready for the presidency, a job that many grassroots conservatives want her to seek in 2012. It's clear that the former Alaska governor knows how to push the hot buttons of the right. The question is whether she can or wants to broaden her appeal to the center where most presidential elections are won. For U.S. News & World Report, I'm Ken Walsh.